Welcome to Go Mustang Sports. I'm Dave McHugh taking a look at the fall sports and we're talking field hockey today joined by grad assistant Bailey Versfeld and uh, coach first and foremost uh, your first year here at Stevenson. How's it been? Oh wonderful wonderful. It's uh, flying by that's for sure yeah. but uh, it's it's going great loving it. Love the setup the location um, yeah enjoying it enjoying the kids. Obviously Coach Martin is uh, great fun to be around and learning lots from her. If no one recognizes the accent, you're from Zimbabwe. You actually played on the national teams there. Jump, came over to the United States for college, but give everybody a little bit of a background of they may not know exactly where Zimbabwe is. Uh, deepest, darkest Africa. Yeah. So we're in the southern hemisphere. We border on to South Africa. Yes, we are a country of our own. Yes. Surprising to most. Um, yeah, it's a great location. Definitely still call it home, even though I've been here for about 10 years now. I was going to say, you came over here for, for college and you played at James Madison. Um, what was the draw? Um, well, I figured I should go to college. It's always a good start. Yeah. Uh, and then it just, it just landed in my lap, pretty much. The assistant from James Madison happened to be from my hometown. We were both watching our high school team play. And she said to me, are we looking for players? So I sent in a video. And the next thing, I was on a plane, first time out of Africa. So. You know, I well, love, love the that's decision. That's one heck of a though. jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 18 hours later. Yeah. yeah. Quite a flight. So you played at James Madison for a few years. You then went and was an assistant coach at um, Miami of Ohio, came back to James Madison to be an assistant. So that begs the question, what was the draw to come here to Stevenson? Uh, it was it was just, just time. Uh, I needed to boost my resume. So uh, what better than a master's? And Stevenson was, was a good fit. Good fit with Coach Martin like the location, great program that I wanted. And uh, I wanted to keep on coaching, but I needed to go back to school. So you know, just killed two birds with one stone. What are you majoring in? Business technology management. So Very nice. how computers and people work together. <laughs> <laughs> Which is changing every day. <laughs> every day. So I figured it would be a good one to go with. Very interesting. What What was the draw, though? You're now in Division Three, Very different than what you've been used to in Division One playing and coaching. Obviously, Division Three, very different. Much more student athlete, as us biasly say. Um, wh what's been your adjustment? What's been the attraction? Uh, well, it's still hockey at the end of the day. Yeah. So... Uh, I don't think the division really matters to me. It's, it's it's about coaching, coaching the kids, seeing the light bulb go off. That's always the enjoyable part. Yeah. So as long as I'm uh, doing it with field hockey, I, I don't mind where we are. What's the focus for you on the team? What are your what are your specific responsibilities? Uh, doing a bit of everything right now, uh, mainly with goalkeepers. Uh, so sort of take them through a regime, and then um, we we share responsibilities. For, quite a bit so uh, I like to be involved in everything you know I wasn't a goalkeeper uh, I played at the back in the mid uh, up front I would have actually played anyway but in cage I think yeah. that takes a special kind of person I, I agree with you entirely <laughs> yeah so um, but my last two years at James Madison I spent working with keepers so um, I just see them as a more padded up defender and kind of go from there. More padded up, I think, is an understatement. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's some of the most padding you will see in any goalkeeper. Um, a little bit from your background, what do you what do you love about this game? Oh, I've played it since I was six years old, so it's a huge sport at home, you know, for men and women. Um, and so it just uh, it's just what I love to do. Yeah, so. I, I can't really explain it. You know, the competitive side of things yeah. and uh, having that many other people. But, uh, yeah, it's just a great game. Let's talk about the team a little bit. It's uh, been a pretty good year, though it's had some tough weeks. Uh, there was the week where, where three big games all lost. Then there was the week uh, recently with two losses. But the team bounces back. It's very interesting, the resiliency of the team. Every time they've been through a tough stretch, the next week's even better. That's what they've gone through now. What do, how do you see it from an assistant point of view? Oh, well, that makes us happy that they bounce back the way they do. That uh, three-game week was rough. I mean, that would be rough, I think, for any, any team, yeah. So uh, the bouncing back it, it is great and always impressive. They're a great group of girls. And they're working hard, I think, after a week of loss like that. They come out, they work hard, they make some changes, and I think that's why we bounce back the way we do. Of course, the bounce back usually means that either mentally the team is just right in gear or the coaches have been able to put the right words in their heads or even the captains. What's been the secret, do you think? I think a mix of all of that. We're all working well together, seeing what we need. Uh, 
us from the coaching side and uh, the people side, like you were saying, and then the captains really uh, carrying our word through and, and taking care of their side of things too. And of course, the competitive play, this is the first chance you've seen this uh, conference and this schedule, of course, in Division Three. Conference has a couple of really good teams. You're about to see one coming up here in Elizabethtown. What's your vantage point on, on the competitiveness? That's a good question. Um, you know, I get to look at video from last year, so I think if we play the way we've been playing, we have a, a, a great, great shot, you know. So we'll, we'll just see how it goes because you're right, my first year, so yeah. sussing it out as it goes. Of course, uh, t Coach says she'd ultimately like to win a national championship even if it was this year. She aims high. Are you, a are you an aim high type of person as well? Absolutely. I think that's why Coach Martin and I uh, get along. We're on the same page with that. I think you've always got to aim for a national championship and then, uh, yeah, just go from there. Very good. In sport, anything can happen, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you're right. Every game's different. Well, congratulations. Welcome to Stevenson in the first year. We enjoy seeing you on the sideline. Uh, thank you very much. Very good. We'll have plenty more with other coaches and players throughout the season here on Go Mustang Sports.